Hello everyone and welcome to another DBSIM video. Today we will be covering how to enable change data capture for Oracle databases running on a Docker container. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is uh, get the container image from the Oracle container registry. We can select the database repository and get into the enterprise version. You need to sign in uh, with an Oracle account so you are able to access the uh, registry as it is a protected registry. So when you log in, you need to uh, enter your credentials, username and password. That will enable you the access to the registry. Getting back to the database, you need to accept the uh, terms and conditions. So you just click on the uh, link and you can scroll down all the way uh, after you read through the uh, terms and conditions and accept at the end. This will enable uh, the access to the uh, repositories. So you can click on the um, enterprise version. That's the one that we are going to be using today. And we will be using the uh, latest version that it's version 19. And for that, we need to copy the uh, full um, uh, container image name. We can then get back to our terminal and then run that container image, uh, signing the Oracle DB19 name and exposing the port 1521. You can uh, use a top secret as our Oracle password. After you run the container, it will start um, installing and deploying a database the first time you run the container. And this process can take a while, so it will uh, run quickly in this video, but it will it will take a couple of minutes to uh, complete and, and finish. So um, you can grab a cup of coffee and then get back when uh, this is finished. For sake of the time, I'm running this on uh, super uh, fast mode, so you can um, see what is the result at the end. What we will be doing next is configure the actual uh, database uh, to get the uh, CDC enabled. So for that, we'll, we'll be using the uh, script uh, provided by the Divisium team under the uh, background configuration. It's called setup log miner. And this um, runs the uh, different commands required to the DBA to configure the uh, container image. Basically, it creates a recovery file then then enables the uh, red log and you can go over the details on on, on that file um, if you want or if you uh, haven't set up it uh, before then we can uh, log in into the container using uh, our shell script and the first thing we need to do is get into the uh, aura data uh, folder and then create this recovery area file uh, a directory that will um, be used to uh, set information on the uh, red logs. So we create the uh, the uh, folder and then we see that it's uh, available for use on the Oracle database. Now we can then use the script that I showed you before and then execute it uh, directly on the container image. So it can retrieve it from the internet and it will start to go over the different instructions like activating the recovery file, setting up the, the, uh, the uh, correct size, uh, shut down the uh, database and then starts to mount so it can then um, enable the archive log and then um, can open the, the database for usage on, on that log. Also, it um, adds some supplemental log uh, features to the database so you can um, then access uh, them uh, with the BSM when doing the uh, change data capture. This will take a couple of moments when it shuts down and restarts the database, but then at the end you will uh, succeed with all the different comments. Now your database is ready for change data capture. The next step is to get some um, example data into your database. So for that, we will get back to the uh, Divisium examples um, repository and then select the tutorial. 
And there's a folder for the division with Oracle JDBC where you can find the inventory SQL file that creates a couple of data tables with uh, products and also grants the access to the uh, user as well as the uh, log data required for the uh, columns to be captured by change data capture. You can see the um, details here. We will be using the exact same approach. We will um, get, retrieve the uh, file from the um, from GitHub and then uh, pass that uh, command to the SQL plus running on the same container. Now, this time we will be accessing as the BSUM uh, DVC uh, user to the uh, PDB1 database. And then it will start creating our uh, different um, tables and filling them with the information that we can use then to check. So let's uh, log in again as the Division user and do a quick um, select from uh, customers. And as you can see, our database is ready to start capturing the changes using DBSU. I hope you liked the video and see you next time.